Okay guys, so um, my name is Patrick. Um, today I'm just going to be talking about some stocks that uh, I'm invested in. Um, and I just want to let you guys know that I am not a financial advisor. So um, anything you guys take from me, you guys should go home um, and do your own research and stuff about the companies that I'm talking about. Um, uh, and consult a financial advisor if you guys start investing um, some big money into stuff. So the first stock I'm going to be talking about is actually um, Apple. Everybody knows about Apple. Um, so the ticker symbol is AAPL. And by the way, if you guys see me looking over here, this is just my laptop for some notes. Um, so uh, Apple's been a really good company over the past couple of years. Everybody knows about them, um, making the phones, making their MacBook Pros and stuff like that. Um, so the new iPhones just came out um, from when I'm recording this. So people are getting their iPhone 12s and their Pros soon. And then um, uh, the Mini um, and the Max, the big one, um, are gonna have, you're gonna pre-order those on uh, November 6th, I believe. Um, and then get them November 13th, so the next uh, week. So just a couple of things for the pricing. Um, the Mini is gonna be uh, 699 to 849, depending on how many gigabytes you're getting. Um, the 12 is going to go from 799 to uh, 949 so that's probably the, the phone that people are going to be getting. Um, the iPhone 12 Pro, uh, that's going to be um, 999 to 1299 um, And then the Pro Max, which is the, the big boy, um, that's going to be 1099 to uh, 1399 So that's some big money you're paying, but that's a really good piece of hardware for you guys. Um, and then that all varies from 64 to 512 gigabytes. Um, and then, um, so the colors that they have for the iPhone 12 uh, are going to be black, red, white, green, uh, blue. I know they have a gold. They were really emphasizing the blue, though. Um, I saw a couple commercials on that. Uh, I know they have like a graphite, so like a gray one as well. Um see what else do I have if I can I'm gonna put some pictures right here for um, the iPhone 12s if I can't um, don't blame me on that um, so the iPad mini is actually coming soon so uh, that's gonna be coming out with the uh, iPhone 12 as well so that has a new uh, processor in it and stuff like that they have not announced the new iPad Pro the big big one um, I know a couple people that have that one so that one's pretty good uh, so the iPad uh, Air, that's the new one that they're coming out with, uh, depending on how many gigabytes you get and if you want to purchase cellular or just use Wi-Fi for that. Uh, it's going to be about $599 to about uh, $749 for the, for the Air. And then if you want cellular on that, of course, that's going to be a little bit more, probably about $100, $150 more. Um, so other than that, um, I think they're a good pick just because um, they have a good lineup coming up. I know... Um, People are going to be buying iPhone 12s, not necessarily just because they need a uh, new one, which has already been predicted. Um, there's been, over the past couple of years, there's been people that have uh, held off um, upgrading their phones uh, for about three, three and a half years. I think that's the estimate that Apple came out with. So people are going to be upgrading this year um, just because it has the 5G new generation of phones and um, just because they have a good lineup for everybody. And then um, going forward, they're just going to be selling more products. And um, kind of Apple has been one of the big powerhouses for, especially in the U.S., for selling products. Um, I know Samsung has plays. Uh... All right. Sorry about that, guys. Um, I just got a phone call. So there's probably going to be a cut right there. Um, but what I was talking about was just Samsung is uh, more popular in other places in the world um, than Apple is. But Apple gets a lot of its sales from uh, people in the U.S. So um, I think once people review it and see some good stuff about it, I think people will start buying it more. So um, my second one is called. So the second company I'm going to be talking about is uh, Workhorse. The ticker symbol is WKHS. Um, so they're an electric car company that bases off of fleets. Um, so they have working vans and stuff like that that are all in that are all electric sorry about that um and they're supposed to have a usps contract so with the postal service um because most of the vans that are now driven by um the postal service is um 
uh, getting too old to be, uh, and they need to be updated. And um, most states are starting to ban uh, the selling of carbon uh, cars. So um, you're not allowed to have any gas powered cars getting sold after uh, 10, 15 years from now. So the government is not gonna wanna upgrade those cars in about 10 to 15 years. So they're just gonna invest in EV now. Um, so uh, they're looking at workhorse. They've said multiple things. Um, and I would just keep a keep an eye on it as soon as um it comes around in December, and um, I'm definitely gonna be keeping an eye on it for as uh for them as well. Uh, so the third company I have is another electric car company. It's called a uh, Hylion. Ticker symbol is H L or H Y L N. Uh, so Hylion um is a electric car company um based in semi trucks. So uh, that's a lot of how people um, get their food and get their water is through uh, transportation over land. Uh, so they're specializing in electric uh, car company uh, for semi trucks. And um, uh, they have a good plan. You guys can go look them up. Um, and they're supposed to come out with their semi truck, I think, by I think they're supposed to start rolling it out next year. Um, I could be wrong about that. Um, but their uh, stock is trading at 1879. Uh, and I personally, myself, I have two shares of that and I am up $10 on it actually. So I'm doing pretty good, even though it's been down over the past couple of days. Um, most of these stocks are going to be red. If you guys do start looking at them, uh, just the election presidential elections coming up and nobody knows really who's going to win. It's going to be pretty close. And, um, I'm not going to say if Trump wins, this is going to happen. If Biden wins, this is going to happen because we don't really care about that. We just care about, um, how we're going to make money from it. Um, but anyway, back to Hylion, um, their semi trucks are supposed to be better than the, the Tesla semi trucks that are supposed to be coming out soon. And, uh, they're going to be out sooner. So Hylion trucks are going to be out sooner. So more companies can buy them quicker. Uh, they're supposed to have longer, uh, bigger towing capacities. They're supposed to have, uh, longer uh they can run longer uh time periods and they can travel farther distances than most semi trucks uh right now actually so um companies are going to be looking to that just to cut costs and stuff like that so i'm going to move on to my fourth company now so that's going to be mastercard the ticker symbol is ma um so uh and that is currently trading at let me check right now it's currently trading at 280 uh 288 um, so MasterCard is just, um, a credit card company. Everybody probably knows about them. You have them on your credit card and stuff like that. Um, and, uh, more and more people are just starting to use electronic banking and stuff like that. Um, it's more, uh, uh, easier for people to carry their credit card rather than carry a bunch of cash in their wallet and stuff like that. And if they ever lose their credit card, they can just cancel it and get a new one. Um, rather than if you lose uh, physical money, then you're just out of luck. Um, so more and more payments are just starting to be online and available to more people. Uh, online banking is just more convenient for people. Like I said, uh, people's lives are getting busier and busier. More people are doing more things. Um, I myself, I'm a college student, so I don't have time to go uh, do stuff with the bank. Uh, many people put cash into banks and accounts uh, and they develop a little bit of interest over time. So that's usually good. Uh, oh, so um, I have written down, sorry about that. I keep stuttering and stuff like that. Um, but overall stuff is moving online, just generally everything. So you have school online now, you have uh, online banking, online work. People work from home now for like their full jobs that make six figures, stuff like that. Um, and it's just a lot easier for people to have in their phone um, just to transfer money if they want to give it to their kids or stuff like that. And um, especially it's better for COVID-19 right now, just because we don't know what the future is going to look like. It's a lot better than handing over physical money to people and stuff like that. Um, so I definitely check them out. Um, they've had a good track record over the years as well. Um, they started to get an upper hand on Visa the last couple of years. So... Um, it would be something to look, um, I'm looking at the, from last year, it's only up 5%, but that's just because of the big drop off from Corona. And then, um, they ticked all the way up to 356 
but now they're back down to 288 and that's just because of the election everything's kind of going a little down um if you look at five year that's a better estimate they're up 193 percent so it's almost at least doubling your money if you invested two or five years ago and all these stocks i'm talking about are usually you're going to hold for at least a year to five years if you guys want to do that it's just some long-term stuff if you guys instead of going out to eat food you invest that 20 dollars into something you might be able to make 40 bucks in a couple of months or you might be able to make 80 bucks in a year six months stuff like that it's just stuff whatever you have extra a little bit extra money i would throw it into the stock market if you lose it you lose it if you don't um and you invest it in the right places you're definitely gonna make some money on that and i'm gonna be making a couple more videos uh, just addressing some safer ways if you guys are worried about risk and stuff like that some safer ways to invest your money and get some low money out of it um and then the last company i have uh for you guys to look into um that i'm definitely going to be watching over this quarantine that um is getting really really big now is just amazon uh ticker symbol is a m z uh n so that's amazon and they're just looking into a lot of stuff right now um like five years ago i remember just amazon was a book online book company now they're like everybody's talking about them everybody knows about jeff bezos stuff like that um but coming up for them they're supposed to be they just got passed i believe to start doing uh, drone deliveries in certain locations by their factories um and that's really going to change what's going to happen because it's just going to be faster deliveries on small stuff that you guys know um, so like if it's like pens, pencils, they're not going to be delivering anything heavy and stuff like that. Uh, they do have all types of entertainment. So they now have video, they have their books. Uh, I know they have grocery stores. If you guys see that, uh, they have prime instant video. So their own little spinoff of Netflix. Um, and they're really just getting their for, uh, their foot in the door for a lot of different fields. And I think they're really going to blow up soon. Uh, even though they've already kind of blown up, I think they're going to blow up even more and become in a year from now, it's just going to be Amazon, everything. Um, just kind of how we always say Google everything now. <laughs> um, so those are my top five stocks, um, that I'm looking at right now. Um, and what the information I've gathered today, um, and then, um, in a couple of days, I'm going to make another video, um, and just let me know what you guys want. Um, if you guys want top five safe stocks to invest in, or you guys want um, maybe some higher risk stocks, if you guys want to make a little money, like double, triple, quadruple your money um, within like three, six months. So a little bit shorter time. Um, and then I can always just do, um, I'm going to be posting a video actually later um, that just tells you guys, if you guys don't know what stocks are about. Um, so that's just what they are and um, how you can invest in them and what uh, types of sites you use. I'm just a long-term investor. I'm not no day trader or anything. So I just invest in Robinhood. Um, I'm going to leave a link to my uh, Robinhood account. And if you guys sign up, you guys get a free stock. So um, just to get you guys started. Um, but other than that, um, just let me know what you guys want. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.